Hey all types here, back at the zoo. So we are back playing some more Planet Zoo today. And in the last episode, we uh, we created this reptile house. I haven't done any tweaks to it. And we put in this kind of little pathway. And we put in this um, Komodo dragon enclosure habitat type dearly thing. And today we're going to be working over here. So just behind in the distance just on the edge of the on the edge of the sinkhole here just behind the ground mall um is going to be i think it's going to be like a meet the animal kind of area let me just pause it a second um so yeah i haven't worked out this entirely yet uh this is probably the first stage kind of just putting this in up maybe maybe going to move it closer i'm not sure to the path we're going to have the, the station back here the train station as we said we don't want anyone doing anything other than coming across this river um on the train so this is the start of this not sure whether these going to stay i'm not sure if it's going to be like anything that's going to be active um i don't know if i'm going to actively be able to get animals in there although i think maybe i could do it as like a walk for ribs a bit um so yeah give me give me a little bit of time and i will well it'll be no time for you at all because it'll just be a cut and the magic will be done back in a sec right so progress has been made um i ended up taking out what i had there because this was a bit too difficult with the paths and getting the getting the curve to work and stuff but um and i've just let some peeps and i've just I think I'm temporarily going to have this here, but just while I, um, just so they can use the paths and stuff. So, uh, these are obviously not done yet. This is not done. Um, uh, and then this is the kind of the more done version, although there's probably bits to do still to this. I'm probably going to put something along the back of it, uh, just to give it, a, I don't know, something at the back there. But so each of these are, um, yeah, not all of them are usable, but there are benches hidden in. You can actually see the bench hidden in, clipping through the texture there. Um, so this is basically what I've done. I and mean, this is obviously, this is a higher version. So there's going to be these two higher versions. I've got this numb nuts. This numb nuts standing over here. No one's going up to this tower still. <laughs> I don't understand. Why, oh why, would you go there, lady, just to look through there? This has actually got... um. So it's got kind of busy now because they've had babies in in Iguanodon land. Um, but yeah, so this is I'm pretty happy with this so far. Um, so these are all these ones are sitable. These ones are sitable. Obviously the paths. That's this. Oh goodness me, this takes time. Um, these are obviously the narrow paths. They're the narrowest paths you can get using the Q, using the Q trick. Um, and I've had to put. To get the ends to square off like that, you have to obviously have a um that's a that's a node going off to another uh path that I've just left not put the path down so it keeps it squared and not and not rounding the end the ends off. Um and then yeah, just so they're supposed to be, yeah, sit there, sit your bum on there, legs go down there, this is your back. Same there, same there. Same there. So it's only actually really the top and the bottom ones that are sitable or that peeps will sit on. Um, there's just no way of getting paths to go up that small amount. I mean, you can go, get them to go up that small amount, but they'll all just kind of click together and snap together all the time. Um, but I do think that's a pretty decent sort of... Um, looking at the, the sort of proportions of the people, like that's actually pretty... I'm pretty happy with that. See, they can't... Uh, you can't rotate the people, can you? No. Um, so yeah, uh, that's stage one. So much, much more to do. Okay, so further progress. So I've just started to kind of stitch things together a bit here. Um, and we've added in a bunch of foliage. Uh, this kind of statue feature uh, and then I've ended up I've ended up kind of adding this pathway down the side here so this is supposed to be 
this is supposed to be kind of how they'd access it. Um, I did these kind of little, what's supposed to be almost like turnstiles or just sort of barriers. So it's, it's uh, yeah, you put your ticket in there and another ticket comes out there. I might try and figure out a way if I can make a little ticket or something. I thought it might be quite cool. Um, and then, yeah, the actual arena itself or the, the, the thing itself is kind of now coming together. So it's... Um, as I said, I showed you that one before. So there's now it's now kind of replicated round to these sides. Uh, we've got some glass paneling at the back there just to kind of seal it off a bit. Not super keen on these glass panels. Just it's a bit it's a bit sort of Disney. Um, but it's all we've got really for that. So uh, so yeah, you come down the path. This is probably going to move. Got a little bin kind of recessed in there little sign that tells you not to feed the animals and then uh, and then you're into the actual yeah the, the arena space i'm still not really sure not really sure what i'm doing with the back of it, back of it um i'm thinking this path is this is actually going to be where the path is obviously i'm going to need something that, that allows me to bring animals in here so i need some access which is why i flattened all this terrain back here um, but I'm not sure quite what that's going to be yet. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure about this wall. I don't really want to replicate just the same thing on this side, but I'm not really sure what it's going to be. Um, so yeah, it's just starting to come together a bit, I think. Uh, the foliage and stuff makes a big difference. Try not to swing the camera around too much because I'm conscious of the fact that I seem to do that quite a lot. Um, but yeah, just kind of, I think that kind of brings it together. It's amazing actually how much difference just kind of adding the mulch and things makes. Obviously, these are flower beds that need filling in, but I've done that, you know, down, down this side and these little gaps and stuff here. And I've you know, filled in some, some planting down in those little shady spots there. But yeah, starting to come together. Um, I do, I really like that statue actually, or that kind of sculpture there. Um, so yeah, back in a bit. So another big jump forward. So a lot of the detail in now. I think we've, um, we've got, so we've got this back section, which I'll show you in a second. Um, I've fleshed out this path down here a bit more. So there you go. I think this kind of lattice work. I just thought it ended up giving it something of interest. I'm not sure I'm even going to have anything grow on it, but I might. might have some stuff grow over there. Um, recess the the um, cash machine back into the wall a bit. Um, and then you continue up this little path here. This is, needs to be filled out, but uh, I've got, a, I've got a, a, a shop, but I think I'm going to leave that closed because it's really low. It looks a bit weird, but I may well change that at some point in the future. Um, and then we've got, so this is the, yeah, the structure's complete now, toilet in the back of it, little steps, um, and then we've got a you know, walled off section here, which will sh obviously show you in a second, see stuff in the background there as well. Uh, played around with the gutter in a bit. Um, so if you come back through here now, um, let's just turn that, so it's a bit smoother, that's better. Um, yeah, so we've started to add in. So I'm thinking now this is pretty much just going to be um, small animals, animals that can fit through this gate. Oh, I've just noticed that. It's fixing. I'll fix that in a bit. Yeah, so stuff that can fit through um, this gate here. Uh, so probably the like chimpanzees and the, and the, the lemurs and things like that. Uh, so... Yeah, bits and pieces in here. So freshed obviously freshed all this out a bit more. Um put a little kind of um uh, really basic but kind of little stair lift thing in there. Uh and then this is some of this is just facade and not anything, so I haven't done the interior of this. This is actually just a kind of um an empty space. This is gonna be filled out with foliage and whatnot. We'll get to this little room in a second. Looks like the barrier needs replacing that mechanic assigned down here but this is supposed to be where the animals come through this is actually set up as a is it this one yeah so the whole arena is set up as a habitat 
Um, so I may well be able, I think I'll be able to bring animals in here. They may well escape, but um, we shall see at the end. Um, so yeah, let's fix it. But so they would come through here. So this is where they'd be. The animals would sort of be temporarily kept while they're um, being used for the show. So there's this bit here. So what I'm thinking is the show is effectively just like you know small, the small mammals, and then it'll be um, yeah you know, reptiles and that sort of thing. So then I decided to add this little room. So we've got this kind of little yeah. This is all backstage now. So through this door this isn't complete in this room but um played around with putting some some smaller tanks in so that's obviously the you know, as you can see that's the large the, the exhibit um and then i made like a yeah as it's on the floor i made like a lid for it and stuff so um but it's still pretty high still pretty big um so i had to, to pop mulch in there and all sorts of things in there um, and I found that if you add an animal and then take it away, you'll get the details and the tank can be opened and stuff, but you don't need to actually have the animal in there. So this is going to be, I think like it's got, you know, got bits and pieces to fix all the scene and stuff, but this is going to be like a sort of backstage um, office kind of thing, but where whoever is um, doing the show keep can keep... Um, some of these animals in the tanks then we've got um so yeah path going off that way which i'm not sure where that's going yet but then we've got the those two buildings that were here I think this is a staff room yeah staff room and then a keeper's keeper's hut um, just behind this kind of facade um, and then you can go down this pathway. So this pathway, yeah, this pathway was here before, um, but it's now obviously a bit more developed. Um, I've built some lockers, just kind of. So these are supposed to be like staff lockers, basically. So um, pretty happy with the way they turned out. I'm going to put these on the workshop. So I'll um, I'll link that in the description because um, I'm pretty happy with the way they came out. There's there are others on the workshop, but. None that I'd seen the hinges and stuff for, so these are actually there's a lot of pieces involved in this, but yeah, 291 objects, but some of those are grouped, so you know, they've got the double doors and those sorts of things in there, so let's pull that out. So the hinges is that door, so if you can imagine there's quite a lot of pieces in there, and then this bolt thing is from another door, um, and then they're supposed to be like they've almost like they've got little like name labels on there. Um, so then we're coming down, continuing down this path, just all sense of out of trials. Uh, and there, there's a there's a dude running through. That's the back of that um, room that's sort of sad. And then I've just done some backstage bits. Uh, did I do anything to this door? Yeah, I think I've just done you know some bits like I've added in these, framed these out. And these, so I don't like the doors sometimes when they look. When you place the doors, they look like they're floating. So that is actually, you know, it's got a frame around it and stuff. So I think we're nearly there. Um, so I think probably the last stage will be that I'll bring you back. I'll have fleshed out some more of this, filled in these gaps. And hopefully all some peeps in here and some animals and stuff. And that needs to fill in as well. So um, join me again for the last little bit. Uh, and then we'll have some cinematics at the end. Right. Cheers, guys. In a bit. So there we go. Um, that's pretty much the bit dry I had in my head actually before I started doing this. This one right here, although mine, maybe mine is the poop. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with the way this came out. Uh, so yeah, just a bit more detail in and stuff like that. Uh, I'll show you the kind of the flesh deck down the side. One thing I have to say before I carry on is people will wander in and out um, of this. So because I didn't actually create it as a walk-in exhibit, I don't think they really interact with the animals in the way that they would if they... Um, so they don't freak out because they're in here with them. Um, but they don't come in and sort of stick around and hang around. They just kind of wander in. Um, and they will come up here. I've put a lot of these here, to be, to be honest, to get, just to get a screenshot. But... Um, 
they will come in and stand around but they don't tend to sit down they don't tend to look at the animal really i think that is maybe because it's not a walking exhibit as i said i think it's just seen as a they almost don't really seem to register that there's an animal there um and then obviously as i said i've got uh there's lots of escape places i mean it's sort of if you were doing this for real obviously you would have um, it would be an animal that would be used to being in this sort of area and it would be trained to be in the area and they maybe wouldn't use something like a lemur that would run, I guess. But uh, but yeah, I thought it was a cool concept. I'm pretty happy with the way it's come out. i uh, just show you the kind of the last bits and pieces that I did. So fleshed out some of this backstage and just added some more greenery and things. This is supposed to be a bit more overgrown. Um, a lot more weeds in there because it's... Uh, because it's backstage and obviously is, is kept. Um, and then most of the work was just, most of the final stage really was just filling in these holes. So um, I wanted to make this really lush, this green divide here. I just wanted to make it really lush. I don't really have anywhere in the park yet, or in the zoo yet, that's like this. Um, so I kept this contrast between this one being really full and lush, and then this one being much more sort of kept. Um, and then I did this kind of pond area. Um, so these are supposed to be like, you know, sort of just sort of visual, uh, just visual interest really, sort of sculptural. Um, fleshed in these, I've then added these as much more ornate. So what I decided to do was almost to do sort of a transition between, um, just make sure I've got that. Yeah, I have got that. Um, between the sort of richness of this, which is getting more into a sort of tropical biome, into this is becoming more more kept, and this is actually sort of almost like a transition between the tropical stuff and um, a more classical thing, more uh, more sort of biome appropriate. So we're in U Europe here. This is obviously not, a lot of this stuff isn't isn't really um, European. It's suited to the suited to the the habitats so this is supposed to be some of this is supposed to be planted and some of this is supposed to be wild um or sort of kept to an extent uh, and then yeah just reeds and um some you know some rock work stuff put this little i had this path here before but i put this uh this wall in and this and just this gate to sort of separate that backstage area up and obviously now i've got this lake in here it's a bit more of a natural natural divide as well filled out this bed so again this is a pretty wild area um and then in contrast to that these very sort of kept um flower beds cut much more sort of pristine as you know in in um in in uh in something that's more appropriate to sort of this classical this classical building so you're really happy with it um it would be super cool if you could get like tame animals and animal well and a way of doing an animal show would be amazing but like visually i'm really happy with the way it came out um i didn't actually do any more in this room yet i've sort of run out of time to record this one so um i'll probably come back and show you that some other point in the future but yeah that's that's that one um pretty happy with that it definitely kind of binds this this corner together this feels very much like a completed area now. Um, this transition between the um, between the, you know, the main entrance area, you've got the big wall here, and then you're transitioning into into what what is sort of appropriate, I think. I mean, what I was thinking about, I don't think I'm going to do that in this park, but at some point in the future, having like a you know like a coach stop and those sorts of things that are like more like kid friendly. Um, education centres, those sorts of things. I sort of not really got enough space at the moment um, for that. Uh, this would be the natural place for that to be. And have the station here. So, um, all that being said, I hope you enjoyed that one, guys. I will leave you with a few cinematics. I'm not going to have loads, but I'll have a little bit at the end here. Um, and yeah, my name is Toves. Thank you very much for watching. It's always appreciated. And I shall catch you guys hopefully on the next one. Take it easy.